Hey y'all! Y'all know I'm always getting into some stuff. <laughs> y'all never know on this channel. But listen y'all, we is in Philly right now. Not even kidding you. With so much traffic out here, it's crazy. And y'all, I ain't been out here in so long. I didn't even realize that the toll was like $6 now. It's not even $5 to get over the bridge. I'm just like, uh, this is crazy. I'm glad I had an extra one on me because I normally don't even keep cash like that. But man i ain't gonna lie to you this is crazy there's people all over the place but a lot of the buildings that um that i saw like about a year ago because i i ain't been out here in like a year i ain't gonna lie to you they weren't even up and like now they up so it's crazy though wow it's so crazy from like seeing certain spots or areas in the city that wouldn't even build up. But uh, yeah. So y'all probably wondering what we doing out here in the city. Your girl, y'all know I told y'all plenty of times that I am in the union. So your girl is trying to get a job out here. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was working, I'm, with, I'm still working third shifts. I ain't going to drop my my whereabouts of where I work at just yet. I will be telling y'all soon, though. But, um, yeah, I ain't going to lie to y'all. Your girl is trying to, you know, get out here and do it again. Because I'm telling you, it's been a whole year. I'm a little rusty, crusty, you know, all that. <laughs> but we're going to get back into it. It's crazy, yo. This is a little bit mind-blowing. I ain't going to lie to you. But, um... Listen, when you out in the city, you looking for work, follow the cranes, you know? Somebody great told me that. Somebody very, very smart. Um, so that's what we about to do in the city right now. Um, I'm just kind of like riding the areas that I kind of know that I'm familiar with or that I've worked at because, um, you know, I'm not from around here, you know? And just to be riding around, sometimes you can get lost. Like if you ain't from around here, you can definitely get lost. But you see people with work shirts on and stuff like that, so you could definitely just say, wow, look at this building. This is nice. Y'all, oh my gosh. I'm going to give y'all a little like walkthrough at the end because um, we only going to be out here for a few hours today. And then I'm going to definitely come back out tomorrow. So there might be a part two to this video. Um, but yeah, um, if y'all are new, my name is Melina. Welcome to my channel. If you don't know, if you do know, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you like comment and subscribe make sure you um hit that bell so you can get all the videos that i drop listen it's crazy like for real i'm not even gonna lie to you wow look at the buildings over here that i used to work at i mean yeah pretty much on this job site so, yeah i gotta show y'all all this uh, like at the very end but right now we're gonna scope around some stuff see what's what now it gets confusing though because if you if you're a union worker there's a lot of non-union companies out here too you know uh working on job sites and stuff like that so you kind of gotta like decipher like which one is which a little bit um but we out here y'all we out here so i'm gonna let y'all go i don't want to talk too much um i'll show y'all a little here and there of what's going on give y'all updates bring y'all along with the journey but let me uh keep an eye on the road and figure out what's going on okay y'all so this is this building right here i don't know if y'all can see it that first building right over here that one um basically i used to work in that building right there man that thing turned out nice i'm not gonna lie to you that thing turned out nice and it's huge 
That's crazy. And they're already now leasing. That's crazy. I remember it was nothing. Like, it was nothing. That is insane. Wow. And then they got building two over here. It's going to be a whole thing. And on top of these buildings, you can't see from this point of view, but there's like a whole like courtyard in there. They're going to have a pool and all that stuff. They probably already got it in the first building, but or working on it. But yeah, that's crazy. Oh my gosh. The only thing about these buildings right here, it's a lot of nooks and crannies. So the way like your apartment would be set up, it's very, um, it's like an odd shape. But yeah. All right, y'all, live update. Okay, so I met, I met this guy named Johnny. I don't want to put his last name out. But he was sitting on one of the benches and he was eating his lunch. And I didn't mean to disturb him, but there was a job site across where he was sitting at. And I asked him, I said, hey, are you working on that job site? He was like, yeah. And I was like, well, I'm trying to look for work. You know, I'm a laborer, da, 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 da. So he said he was pointing in the right direction. So I kind of got lost. I ended, up at, I ended up in another office that I wasn't supposed to be at. Of course, the lady, when I got in there, she was trying to kick me out ASAP. She's like, you're not supposed to be here. I'm like, well, I'm just following the direction of what people said. So long, make a long story short, um, I ended up running to him to get, I ended up running back into him. Um, I guess his lunch break was done and he ended up walking me into the right direction. So then the security guard lady was there and she acted like she didn't want to help me neither. I'm like, what's going on? Is it a sexist thing? Like, what is going on? These women ain't trying to help me. I'm y'all people, <laughs> you know? But uh, anyway, he ended up taking my number down because he's going to ask around because there's no way for me to actually go on that job site. Certain job sites are like, how can I put it? Super secure. They have security, like for safety reasons, insurance purposes, so people don't steal, come on the job, you know, all that good stuff. So, um, long story short, he took my number. He's gonna give me a call back later. He said there's, and there's a couple other ones in there. Now the building's already up, but he said they still could definitely probably use some laborers. Um, he does electrical, I believe he says, but he said he's going to uh, ask a few people around and um, basically, call me and let me know if there's anything going on um so that's cool it's always good to make connections while you're out here um while you're working while you're on the move i'll show you guys the building as soon as i pull out of here um because i'm kind of underneath the bridge um where they have the l train i guess you could say or the train but y'all know i don't know the city lingo so don't listen don't fault me if you're from philly you see this don't, don't get on my case but um yeah, you just got to network sometimes. You got to talk to people. If you see people out, just, you know, I mean, you're going to get the good ones. You're going to get the bad ones. But he was definitely a nice older person, and he definitely was trying to help me. So, um, but, yeah, we're going to keep it moving. This was my actual first spot today, and it's literally about to be 11 o'clock. Crazy. So much traffic. I'm trying to find offices or trailers. It's It's insane. Um, a lot of these buildings from, like I said, last year, they're already built up, but there's still work that needs to be done on the inside, interior work. So, and I ain't mad at that because winter's going to be coming and I would definitely prefer to be inside. So yeah, we're going to keep it moving. We're going to keep it pushing. I pray that he does call me back and gives me some type of good news. If anybody's hiring, that'll be great for real. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. I'm about to finish driving around and see where else we can find and i'm gonna show you the building y'all i forgot to show y'all the building that's not the building but the building is almost as big as this one this one right here i'm trying to get over there i'm trying to figure out how i can get to that one because what if i get on that job site i'm not gonna lie that'll be kind of crazy that one's huge look at that building y'all trying to figure out how to get over there how could i hmm. i could probably turn and get on that main road over there i gotta figure it out guys but just an update y'all this spot right here Woo! this halal spot right here this is indian food y'all if y'all see these little carts in philly make sure you go get one because it's like $8 a platter and they literally give you 
so much rice, so much chicken or lamb. I get chicken. Um, you get a salad on the side if you want salad, and you get a drink for eight dollars. Stop playing. So it's lively up in here. Look, there's another truck right here. It's a taco truck. Okay. Ain't nothing like the Indian food though. It just hit different, y'all. It just hits different. So let me show y'all real quick. This is the job I was trying to get on. But they said they almost about done with this one. If y'all can see it go all the way up. I remember when this was nothing, y'all. Nothing. It's crazy. These buildings go so quick. It's crazy driving in the city. You literally got to watch for the cars, the people, the bikes. I'm telling you, you got to watch out for everything and everybody moving. Literally. Animals too. <laughs> it's so crazy. I'm so glad to bring y'all along. I hope y'all like this uh, video. I hope it's a little different for y'all. So, I'm excited. I'm actually about to pull up to this Target parking lot so I can eat my food in peace. Um, where I was actually parked at, it was a lot of people just walking around. So I just was like, you know what, let me just, you know, go somewhere where I can kind of pull off to the tuck. And I can eat my food in peace. So this is another apartment complex that they built. Um, it's been here for a little bit. Um, it's kind of cool. And then they got other like little, uh, like doctor's offices and a little like gym right there. It's kind of cool. So let's see if we can find a good parking, y'all. Okay, so I got my platter. I got a Coca-Cola because I haven't had Coca-Cola in so long. And I've been doing so good with eating healthy. This is my cheat day, okay, when it comes to this food. So this is what it looks like. It feels a little lighter than usual, probably because they rush in and they had so many people. Like, I'm not even sure they had... I don't even know how much rice they had in that little tiny <laughs> that little tiny square they was cooking in, but I'm telling you right now, their food is good. Ooh wee, look at that, y'all. You get a salad of choice, and also you get rice, and then you get the chicken over top or lamb, and you get to pick red sauce, um, white sauce, or both, or none. I like both. And I like the salad because it kind of cools it off because y'all. This red sauce is very spicy, but let me let me let y'all get a last little look. Uh huh. This is like eight bucks, y'all. You can't even go to the Chinese store and get an eight dollar platter anymore. Come on now. And actually, some food carts will have it for a little cheaper. So let's take the first bite. I haven't had Indian food in over a year, literally over a year. I've been waiting for this y'all i literally i said that the next time i go to philly i am getting me an indian platter Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm just like i remember it mm. Mm. that red sauce is spicy the one lady was like i don't he was like red sauce or white sauce to the one girl that was in front of me she said, I don't want no spicy, just the white sauce. Mm-hmm. And he said the sauces that they make are handmade. And I believe it. I literally believe it. Mm, y'all. I'm about to get into it. Y'all don't know how good this tastes. I'm telling you, if you ever come to Philly, if you're traveling here, if you're nearby, if you're in J Delaware, Jersey, New York, the tri-state area of some sort, Virginia, y'all got to get an Indian platter. I'm telling you, it's so good. You can't beat the price. It's definitely going to fool you up. If you're really hungry, you could probably eat this whole thing, but this is enough for two people, literally. And it comes with a drink. So I will see you guys and talk to you guys after I eat. And we'll figure out what we're going to do. I'm kind of getting a little tired. Not sure exactly what other places to stop to. But tomorrow is definitely another day. Y'all. 
I am telling you, I am tired from today's events. I tried to film as much as I could, but it was just so much traffic, y'all, and everything. Like, whoo, I was on the move. I was, trust me, I had one thing on my mind, which was trying to get a job, okay? And y'all, I don't think I've ever showed y'all this, but I, <laughs> I got my hard hat, and look, I got this little Jasmine Strong sticker. And I got all these other places, companies that I've worked for, uh, different locations and stuff. So hopefully one day this will be filled all up. Um, but I do need to get a new one of these under here because it's a little messed up. But I really want to get me a Mulan sticker because Mulan, remember the movie Mulan? Anybody that knows, that is one of like my favorite childhood uh, movies where she was like very beautiful and dainty, but she really wanted to fight in the war um, because she didn't want her dad to go. And she went harder than the boys. I'm sorry, she went harder than the guys. I'll never forget that movie. I need to get that sticker on my, cause she was like a yin and a yang, um, you know, when it came to her personality and just, you know, how she was. But right now I'm waiting for my kids to get off the bus currently. Ooh, it was humid today, y'all. I ain't like it. I'm ready for it to cool down. It was so hot today while I was out there. I don't even know how I made it through. <laughs> oh, man. But tomorrow is another day. I'm glad you guys got to come with me on today's events. I don't know if you guys are going to like this type of vlog, but I'm going to film it and put it out there. Listen, for people who want to do something in life, go out there and get it. Cause ain't nobody gonna sit here and hand it out to you. You got to go and get it for yourself. You know, you gotta take what's yours sometimes, um, metaphorically speaking. And you know, you gotta be brave. Sometimes you gotta go out the box. You can't get too comfortable with a situation. Um, and everybody always has room for better. Never stay stagnant um, in a certain situation. If you feel like you want to see growth in your life, if you feel like you want to see change, you want to see abundance with money, um, you know, just things, you want things in life to elevate for you, you got to make a change. You cannot just stay still because like I say, if you're grounded and you don't, and you're not moving, then nothing's happening. So yeah, you got to be the change. If you want to see change in your life, sometimes you have to be the change. You can't wait for other things to change. So, yeah, I'm super excited, though. I'm glad to bring y'all along for that, okay? <laughs> um, tomorrow, like I said, we're going to check in with a few other locations and that one place I'm definitely going back to. I'm going to try to get there early in the morning before they actually go in the gate. So maybe I can get um, talk to maybe possibly a foreman or somebody. Maybe somebody can guide me in the right direction because, y'all, I'm trying to get up in there, okay? <laughs> trying to get that moolah no I'm just like no but I'm definitely ready for more stability and I'm ready for just bigger things I'm ready I'm ready for uh bigger things so yeah y'all if you had watched it and made it this far to the video thank you make sure you like comment and subscribe and make sure you hit a the bell button so you can get all the videos that I drop tomorrow I will be vlogging again my second day out in Philly this is part one Part two will be tomorrow. And yeah, wish me luck, guys. I'll see y'all. Oh, and to all of my dumpster diving, you know, supporters, listen, y'all, we are on a whole nother journey, okay? So definitely stay tuned. Not saying I'm not going to tap into that, but listen, the universe is pushing me to do so many different things, and I'm trying to touch everything. So. Just enjoy the content, watch it, relax, and yeah, it'll be a good time.